Ho ho, my hearties! A very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClure. Welcome to my fellow TikTokers. We're just about to go live on the Scotty McClure phone in. So there you are, fantastic stuff. Right, we shall go live now. That's us. How amazing is that? And a very, very warm welcome to everybody on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook Live, and on LinkedIn. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scottish. Kareem. How you ah, Kareem, well done. Yes, you rang just a little bit before we started tonight, but that's fine. Oops, sorry. Not oh, at sorry, all. No, no, apologies. nothing to apologise for, my dear fellow. I've just been <laughs> argy-bargying with somebody on social media about uh, the English Civil Wars. Oh, right. <laughs> so you'll get a smile if you go on to that one. Yes, I'll definitely have a look at that. No, now then. The notification came up on Facebook and I thought, oh, I've Good. got it. No, that's brilliant, Kareem, that it's all starting to happen. Yep. You know, it's just it's just fantastic news. Really, really good. Have you had a good day today, Scotty? A wonderful day today. Met some very, very interesting people. A lot of good uh, chat. And tonight, as I say, a, a lot of good quality debate. Good bit of chat chat. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Yes, indeed. Um, I've got a few things to speak about tonight. Not not too much. Right. The first one, which oh, I, did I you, find did... quite alarming. Yes, did, before you before you tell me before you tell me this, Kareem, did you hear yes. Professor Numpty Heed last night? Could you say that again? Before you tell me this, did you hear Professor Numpty Heed last night? Could you remind me, please? No, he was saying you need to. Um, Kareem's on too long. You need to fine him a pound. I said, well, Kareem has actually paid his fine many times over. <laughs> I remember now, yes. Now then, never mind all that. Tell me what you were thinking. Um, today there was a, an announcement uh, around, it's regarding drugs. Yes. And you know Scotland has a history with drugs and it's a, a, an all-time high. Yes. What they're saying now, and what they're proposing is going to be introduced, is that if you have a Class A drug on you, instead of getting a sentence or going to jail, you now can get a caution. A wee slap in the wrist, a wee nudge or talk, away you go. That's very, very dangerous for society because it's starting to legitimise Class A drugs. Mm -hmm. Whereas yeah. I yeah. think... I think this is because the jails are full of uh, of junkies and smackheads and all the rest of it. But I think we can always build some new jails and get to the bottom of what's going on. Yeah. Well, I don't understand. Maybe you'll know more than I will when they're Scotty, but I know that the, the jails, if you look at a lot of jails in America, and they're all privatised, um, and they seem to work pretty well. I don't see... Uh, everything over here seems to be privatised. Why can't they do that with the actual jails? Well, I don't know. I mean, we've had attempts at privatising jails over here. Some of them are run by companies and what have you. But there yeah. have been some serious problems and challenges along the way. No names, right. no pack drill, of course. Uh -huh. uh, but yes, then again, yes. the criminals have become more challenging and more organised. And I uh -huh. think... If you you know if if your government's going to keep cutting back on policing, you're going to get problems like this. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know. And you uh, see, when uh, we were in Europe, you uh, were working very closely with all the other European agencies. Yes. You know now now we've lost that, and we haven't replaced these agencies, so we've lost a lot of that. There's still obviously going to be cooperation, but where's the actual, where's the um, stimulus and the catalyst for that operating together, because we're no longer together? Yeah, I, I really think we've shot ourselves in the foot, well, not Scotland obviously, but I think the rest of the UK. Um, with Brexit. I'm just concerned about the drugs, because I see it in society every day, I see it in our young people. I see it in people that are dealing with stress, anxiety. It's a form in their eyes of escapism. Yes. They can be addicted. Families suffer. We have so much that we give to families, to, uh, types of benefits. That money doesn't go to what, would, what the purpose is for feeding young people. Well, it goes to it goes paying to drug to dealers and it goes to paying loan sharks and all these kind uh, of things. 
and it, it came back and I was shot down. I made a comment months back and I got shot down by people by this. And I thought, why don't you do something similar like what it was in the Second World War? Obviously, it'd be modernised now, like if you have an app or a card system, that this is the money, that will pay your electricity and gas only. This is for food, no alcohol, no cigarettes. This is for clothing. And you'll have companies... I've said it for that. years. You should never have been sought, shot down for that. I've said it should all be a voucher-style system. And, uh, you know, pick up the tab, make sure it goes for food. The only thing is people find ways round. So I can remember uh, seeing coffee with security tags on it in a store, uh, in a scheme in Scotland. And I said, why is the coffee got tags on it? Well, coffee's a currency, you see. So they can, they can steal coffee and flog it uh, to get money to pay their drunks. There's always going to be something, but... I think with that system where the money is going to where it should be, I think a lot of our children, a lot of our young people will benefit in terms of getting food, having a meal, you know, getting clothing, clothing, all these things, that's that's the purpose there. Yes, and like let's get the jobs together. going, Kareem, get the jobs going. I mean, now is a classic time. There have been no jobs for... For years and years and years and years, now there's going to be an absolute abundance. So get that and get employers saying, if you do a drugs test on an employee, you sack them if they've been at the drugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think the problem with that, Scott, is that at so many levels, even within employers, there's people, you know... Well, no, your problem drugs. is that a lot of your very senior people are recreational drug users. Correct, yeah. You know, and even that's, that's the problem. Well, there was a recently in Westminster, uh, I think it was last year, the year before, that uh, there was a, they checked, there was something how they checked and there was so much drug usage within Westminster. Yes. That, and it was just absolutely shocking. Yes, that, yes, they're doing their business, highest guides. Uh, who's doing that. My second point very quickly, I'm not going to stay on too long tonight because I know there'll be a lot of other callers wanting on. Um, You're very kind, but forward. it's always very interesting to hear what you've got to say. Thank you, Scotty. Um, it's no, it's just one for reflection and for people to to question. And it's that we've just had the orange walk at the weekend, and the police have made numerous arrests, and the the walks have managed to walk through and make Glasgow a standstill, and to walk down a lot of streets where, as you know, there was the um, there was Catholic groups outside the churches, and there was a lot of a lot of a lot of bad words exchanged. However, this weekend in Edinburgh, uh, there's a march for the independence movement. Mm -hmm. So it's all the groups that come together, and they do that throughout Scotland. Now, I've been in a lot of these walks, and it is a fantastic family day out. Very friendly. It's organised. It's safe. It's secure. However, the, the council in Edinburgh have, have just changed their mind, as they always do, and now demanding that this walk is on the outskirts of Edinburgh, where not many people... Well, it should, it should be the same thing for the Orange Parade. It says, hey, we put them out the countryside. Correct. So why is it for one group that it's okay? Yeah, well, this is what we need. This is what we need to be looking at. We need to say, what is your policy? Make it very, very clear to the public. Yeah. Announce, print, send out your policies on marches. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. But I just, I, I think, and I just, I don't think it's a. I'm not sure what a council run who runs Edinburgh. I think it might be. Labour, etc. But I know there's always petty politics in it, and there's a reason why. You see, there shouldn't be politics. I mean, these are security issues, essentially. Yeah. You know, in general, the police, the, the big anxiety for the police is people meeting in large numbers because, yeah. you know, they have to be looked after and taken responsibility for. Now, if yeah. we're going to have these marches, we need to be very clear all the do's and don'ts. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Um, but I just, I, I just feel that when it's families, when there's, um, when there's people being passionate, when there's no trouble, as opposed to when you see the other side, the, 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 the history, the bigotry, the hatred uh, between... Well, we've seen it 
Yeah, Christ but they need to it. work out why there is yeah. hatred within one religion. Why can you have, um, you know, two denominations of the same religion that can't get on? I don't understand I it. Always, I always say to people um, that, and it's quite like, you, you, you see, oh, I don't like Catholics, or I don't like Protestants. I said, well, that's rubbish. Because if you're in a house fire and a fireman comes to save you, are you going to turn around and say, I'm sorry, you're Catholic, or I'm sorry, you're Protestant? No, I don't want to be saved. No, I don't think so. You'd be jumping onto them. You'd be, you'd be, you'd be Good one, them. Kareem. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. You know, so we need to sort these differences out if there are any right. differences and find out what they are. I, I think there's people that, regardless, whatever you say and whatever you do, they're always going to have that hatred within them. And it does not matter what evidence, how you include them, inclusion or education, they're always going to have that bitterness. And but we need to body. find out why. Who put it there? Was it their parents? Is it part of their upbringing? Who's put that hatred in there? Because I don't think people naturally hate. Yeah, yeah. You see, I won't, I won't have it. I won't have any hatred, even in my language, because it smacks of ignorance. Yeah, it's taught to them. Yeah, let's let's find it. it's taught to them exactly. Why are we teaching hate to our children? I agree. That's what we need to find out. Kareem, what a privilege to have you on tonight. I'm going to press yeah. on. Yep. And I might do a second call tonight, depending on how things Well, go, not, just, just go with coffee. the flow. It'd be lovely to hear you. Right. Thank you for your time, Scott. Hey, thank you, you for yours. Dinky you doo la. <laughs> That's our Kareem. How fantastic yeah. is that? Amazing. Right. Here we go. Uh, now then, hello, pal, says Thomas Shear, fantastic. Jordan, dinky-doo, dinky-doo, Scotty, says Dave Deprive. Dinky-doo, good man, says Dark Hall. I have no problem with cannabis. It has astronomical health benefits. Any of those proven, Dave? Uh, God's grown mushrooms and herbs been on the planet millennium before man. Evening all, says Suzanne. Fast karma, says Dean. Say so we are sack the druggies, says Wayne. You look kind of tired, big man. You okay? Adam, I'm a hundred percent okay. It's just I start very, very early in the morning, six o'clock, and I finish usually between midnight and one the next morning. So uh, I might look tired, but I'm a hundred percent okay. Very kind of you to ask. There we are. Racism is a learned behavior, says Adam. Absolutely. Hello, Scotty. Says uh, Kareem there, taught by parents, says Adam. 100% correct, Adam. If you've just joined us, guys, you're watching Scotty McClue. This is the internet phone-in. Yes, indeed, the voice of the people. That's me, and uh, I'm in my 30th year. We're live on TikTok. Let's have a quick look round here. Uh, there we are. What's got you your TikTok views? Absolutely everybody. My boss used to take cocaine, says Bruce. Hi, this is your friend Tony from Newport Coast in California. I'm just looking at your chat. Thank you, Tony. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scott, sir. How are you doing? Hey, dinky do, Glenn. Dinky do, Scott, sir. How are we, la? I'm good, la. Yourself? Yeah, I'm great, la. Yes, tell us more. Just uh, winding down, Scotty, after... Uh... A long day, and uh, have you had a tough day, La? Yeah, just uh, well. What you're needing to do is put your feet up and enjoy the Scotty McClue phone in. Yeah, definitely, Scott. Uh, this is the uh, one for you. Yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's a gorgeous night anyway. It's beautiful, isn't it? Is it full yeah. moon tonight, or was that last night? Uh, I can't think. Long to be honest, this is yeah, this is the uh, first day of autumn. Yeah, it is, yeah. This is the equinox when the days are just about equal length. Beautiful. Then the shadows will lengthen and the night will be longer than the day. Fantastic, guy. Uh, isn't it marvellous, the whole thing? And the woods in Sheffield will be looking outstanding. Everywhere, all over the country, Scotland, Scotland, England. Oh, Scotland, yes, absolutely. You know, we do what's called the colours. 
in Perth and Argyle, Perthshire and Argyleshire, the colours. So up the west I've coast, never, you see these terrific colours throughout I've all the forests. The, I've never had the privilege of coming over, Scotty. I think, oh, uh, I think you'd absolutely love it. One day, definitely. Yes, yes, absolutely, Glenn. No doubt about that at all. Do you, um, I like travel. I travel on trains a lot, Scotty. All right. Um, uh, I don't drive, I just use uh, Well, you'll get a good train journey. Um, you're talking, uh, as you know, you'll can go yeah. Sheffield to Leeds, yeah. uh, Leeds over to what, Manchester? I get it over from Birmingham to Sheffield Sky. Birmingham to Sheffield, and then what, Sheffield to Manchester? Yeah, just, uh, now Sheffield to Sheffield, then uh, taxi back. Yeah, so when, if you were travelling through to the West Coast, would you go yeah. Sheffield to Manchester? I would do, Scotty, yeah. Yes, and then Manchester up to Scotland. Brilliant. Very nice. There, there is the cross country train from Birmingham to Sheffield. That one goes up to Edinburgh, Sky. Oh, does it? Well, you could do that, you see. It does, yeah. Yeah, that's a belt of that, as Birmingham to Edinburgh. Birmingham to Edinburgh, beautiful. I used to get one called the Royal Scot. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had dinner on a train? I haven't, Scotty, no. Hey, one night I was coming up from London and I was a little yeah. bit flush and I thought to me, Sen, I thought, ah, I can either get a, a, a hard cuddly sandwich, yeah. right, and a bottle of pale ale. Oh, yeah. Or I can have dinner. And I think in those days it was something like seven quid. Nice. And it was absolutely gorgeous. I had um, tomato soup. Beautiful. I had beautiful fish and chip. Big plates of steam pudding and custard. Did you go first class then? No, I didn't go first class. I just went to dinner. I booked dinner oh, at yeah. the dining the dining uh, carriage. It's, uh, it's all first class stuff now, Scott. Oh, is that what they've done? No, I don't really believe in what? class. What what they do, they, uh, they have like uh, carts, where, you know, like where they come round? Yeah. Or you can go and pay for whatever your duty free you want, crisps, chocolate. Duty free crisps? Yeah. Duty free chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> but, not, but the prices you pay for your train tickets, so, Scotty, I think you should get some sort of. Uh, Oh, I think I think they should do. The problem is they don't do like proper meals. Nobody has proper meals. See, when I was young, you used to everything shut for lunch. Yeah. And you had like a proper. You went for a three course meal in the calf. They have this carton bag. They have this paper bag where you drink whatever, whatever you're drinking or whatever, whatever you're having, whatever. Snack no, 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 no. We need a big it's, bowl of broth. It's not what it used to be, is it? We need mince and potatoes, steak, pie and chips. Scott, they, they, they charge a fortune down if they're travelling. Steam pudding and custard. Exactly. Proper stuff. Do you think, do you, do you think it, it spoils it really, doesn't it? You, for, I, I appreciate it for convenience and that, you know, for getting to trim, getting somebody to drive for you. Absolutely. On a long journey, but... And sometimes you do get one or two people taking it too far, you know, these were having a few tipsies and that. Uh, and too much drink. Robbing about, uh, rocking about on carriages. Yeah, and shouting to each other and all that stuff. These rebels. Swearing. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Just you don't that. want that. Listen to your music. Yeah. Watch some on your phone or whatever. Yeah. Any, any drunkenness, it, any swearing, on. stick them off at the next stop. One of these country halts where they have to wait two hours for the next train. What, oh, next morning? Aye, that's it. Right, I'm going to dash lie. You take great care of your sin. Scotty, Scotty, put them out in countryside where all cows and stuff. Yeah, that's it. Leave them here. Definitely, Scotty. <laughs> That'll sober them up. I think, um, just like I said, keep it to a minimum. Just yeah. take everybody else into Pay respect to everybody, all your passengers, That's all it. passengers and just enjoy your ride. That's it. Let them off at Snake Pass. Definitely. <laughs> Dinky do la. No, right, check it in. It's you Dinky look after your scent and I'll see there. Like la la la. Right, there we are. That's our Glenn. He's off here. I'm just sitting under the dryer, says Jerry. Scotty, what happened? 
You fell into line with the single mothers and the women drivers. Chat shows boring unless you're winding up the wider. What are you on about, Craig? Lol, you do it yourself. I'm rubbish at doing it. Not at all, Suzanne. You're very, very good. You get on. So there we are. Uh, if I have time, I'll be on and off uh, drying me hair. That's what to do, lovey. Hello, everybody. Dinky do. If you've just joined us on TikTok, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue with the internet phone in. We're only a few nights old. We're about three weeks. And, uh, of course, this Friday. I think that's Friday number four. How good is that? So tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Follow us and subscribe on YouTube. Tap the bell to get your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live. If you're on Twitch, can you watch us on Twitch? Right? Nobody's watching yet. I've got 72 followers on Twitch. We started off with two. Thank you for sending me 10 beautiful TikToks. Mr. Goatface is live on TikTok. Lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky do to you. Fantastic. So there we are. Uh, Craig, you're, uh, what you don't realize is we're only three weeks old. All right, so there's no falling into line. Uh, no, I have a personalized hairdresser and a person that dresses me, known as a carer. Good one, Jerry. Fantastic stuff. Excellent. Feel free to give us a call. There is the number. I shall show you along the bottom of the screen there. Now, Kareem has introduced a very, very good subject tonight about the druggies. What do we do with the druggies? Because that's going up and up and up. And what he's saying is they're going to lessen the punishment for possession of Class A drugs. Is this the edge of the slippery slope? How long have you been doing TikTok, Scotty? Ooh, Jack, I've been doing it now for about, I don't know, maybe a year? Scotty, what do you think of Biden? Um, I used to think he was a better alternative to the Donald, but I'm changing my mind now. I think America's missing the Donald and would like the Donald back. And I think the Donald got the rough edge of the stick. Or the rough end of the stick, I should say. Fantastic. Do come and join us here on TikTok. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for following. There we go. Scotty helps keep me sane in a weird world. Bruce End, absolutely no problem at all. Beautiful, beautiful man. Thank you, Marion. You're very, very kind. How's your day been, Scotty? Says Mr. Goatface. Mr. Goatface, thank you for my lovely TikToks. Um, it's been an incredible day today. And I meet so many interesting people, so many lovely people. Um, now, what have we got here? Let's just see who's chatting to us. Cannabis for the relief of chronic pain improves lung capacity, prevents diabetes, aids the fight of cancer, regulates seizures, muscle relaxant. I think, Dave, we're maybe over-egging the pudding. Cannabis is still a foreign body to your own system. Hi, I'm from Serbia. Natalie, we love you in Serbia. How amazing is that? And think you do, I say. Now, uh, do we agree with Dave there? Uh, it helps as a painkiller. It helps me and it treats bowel conditions. I think he means bowel conditions there. But I don't know about improving lung capacity. I don't know about preventing diabetes. I don't know about aiding in the fight of cancer. I don't know about regulating seizures. Muscle relaxant, <coughs> yes. Well, certainly a seizure is a, a convulsant. Uh, so that's an interesting one. Uh, it causes COPD. Ah, there you are. There's Brucey feeding back to you. Dave Deprave. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. Suzanne. Suzanne, my darling, how are you? I'm now, all right, Scotty. I'm good. I need to talk to you. I was talking to a dear friend of mine the other night and they said, Scotty, the show's great, but you need to get more women on. I know. There's, there's just me and there's usually Susan Shaw. She comes on. Well, you see, I think the problem is because I've been so long around on the internet, all the guys congregate because McClue's seen as a man's man. 
Now, as you know, McClure's something of a ladies' man. So I, I don't know. I used to be absolutely packed out the door with the women calling. Uh -huh. You see? I so I think we're going to have to introduce something. Now, I don't want to do anything stereotypical, but what do you think would attract the ladies to the phone-in? We need to get the word out more. We really do. You know, I mean, I can't undo any more buttons, you know? No, I <laughs> if, if we can get more girls calling in, ladies calling in, yes. it sure help. I think so because, uh, you know, there's a lot of it. I mean, the guys are very bright. Kareem and Glenn there and all the rest of oh, them. Well, you know, but, but we've got some very, very bright ladies out there who are pushing through the glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't know what that means. Well, I'll tell you what it does mean, Suzanne. You'll, you'll love this one. I told you I'd be sick. No, you're not thick, my darling. Never, ever, ever say that about you. The last thing you are is thick. You're a very intelligent lady. Now, now that we've sorted that out, the glass ceiling is when you get career women and they can't get promoted any higher. So they think there's a ceiling there, but when you look up, you can't see it. So it's known as the glass ceiling. All right. Right. Well, you learn something else. Because you say, I, but don't, don't be promoting the women up there. See, to be honest with you, it's a very flawed system at the moment. It's called mm -hmm. diversity. And it's saying things like, we need more women in the boardroom. Now, okay. we don't necessarily need more women in the boardroom. We need more people who know what they're doing on the board. Okay. Regardless yeah. of what their gender is. That's true. Yep, the best person for the job. Here's a lovely person to mock 72. Not enough people know about you on here. I came across you by accident and sent me a wee kiss. Oh. Isn't that nice? And they're That's quite right. You know, not enough people do know. We need to get the word out there yeah. because I know that every human being on this planet, if they find out about the internet phone in, the voice of the people, Scotty McClue, they will come in their droves. Yeah, they will. They will. You know, but we need to get it out. It needs everybody sharing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And making sure they're talking about it. Saying, are you listening to Scotty McClure at night? Scotty McClure, where's he? He's on the internet. Away. Well, I was going to talk about the drugs. Yes. Because I've been doing the illegal drugs. Tomok says, I used to listen to all the time on the radio. That's interesting, isn't it? I know. So did that. That's how, how everybody heard. How everybody, were you a Scott FM lady, Suzanne? Yes. Yes, that was the biggie, wasn't it? Oh, I loved it. That was I massive. All these big argy barges at night, slamming oh. the phone down on each other, oh. laughing where he'd have. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm talking about the dogs. Right, go. No. Uh, for all these, for lessening the, the sentences, if you've got class A drugs, is the worst thing you can do. Slippery slope. I had my, I had my house broken into years and years ago by drugs. And for the minute the house was broken into it and then broken into it and then broken into it, I started to get panic attacks. Well, of course. And you shouldn't have had to. You know, the people that are addicted... You know, by by the crime that they cause. Yes, it's, and the upset and the anxiety. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And if you're and doing the shop, somebody goes, just watch that guy there, don't stare at him, I think he's high on something. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have mm -hmm. to put up with that. No, I know. No, Say, so if he's no, high on no. something, get the police to take him away, test him and jail him. Yeah, yeah. And another thing, I don't know about the pain relief either, Scotty, because I'm recovering from um, cancer. Right. And when I first got my first chemo, I was in so much pain, I was in morphine. Wow, well but done I, you. That I, must have been absolute hell. I would never have turned to illegal drugs to no. take the pain away. No. And then I got a stem cell transplant, which is like a thousand times worse. 
Yes. And I've stole, I've stole with another, another. My darling lady, I take my hat off to you. You are one brave, courageous woman. I'm just, I'm recovering the nerve, so. Right. You are one very brave, courageous woman. And see, when you get pain or discomfort, can you mm -hmm. please think, there's my clue, taking the pain away. <laughs> I can do that. And I have a wee that. smile. Yeah, think, I can do that. Oh, there's my clue taking the pain away from me. And have a wee I'm, smile. I'm sure it helps people, but it's something I would never do. And the worst horrendous pain that I've been in, yeah. it's not something I would turn to. Very, ever. very, very brave. Very brave and courageous. I'm very privileged talking to you. No. Yes. No. So can we have, that's the very last time you ever call yourself thick? Um, I can only tell the truth. No, you do tell the truth, but not about that. There is nothing thick about you, and I'm so glad you've phoned. That's nice, Scully. So glad you've phoned. It's great. Well done, you, because I know you were between hairdos. I know. I know I'm sitting here waiting my head, but... What does it matter? And in fact, I've not even had my hair cut because I keep trying to grow it because when I lost it all... Aha. Uh -huh. uh, and is it coming back, Suzanne? Yeah, yeah. It's grown, it's grown a good bit now. Good for so. you. That is it. I am so proud of you. Thank you again for that. That is amazing. You've been through all that pain and you would never touch an illegal drug. No, no, never. You're an never. example to everybody. Never. Example to everybody. Bless you, Angel, and we will catch up soon. All right, Scotty. I'll speak to you later. Thank you for that, Suzanne, and dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky uh, do, Angel. Bye bye just now. What a super lady. Wow. What that lady has been through. Incredible. I'm just open minded, says Dave Deprave. Not many of them are out. Uh, so there we are. So nothing. Okay, Daventry, we get your drifts, says Jerry. Um, so there we are. Good morning, Scotty from Australia. Dinky do to the smartest man on the internet. Always I learn something. Frank, we learn from each other. How amazing is this? Now, Dr. McClure, well said, Suzanne. So they are Jerry. Thank you very much for that. That's amazing. Can you believe we've been up for half the program already? I don't understand. There we are. Hello, Paul, says Thomas on the TikTok. Hello, Thomas. Do you remember me, says Lofty? Of course we do. Lofty Scotty McClure, says Ross. Wow, I remember you back in the day. I didn't realize it was you. Ross, amazing. The problem with TikTok, we don't actually have a graphic up to say Scotty McClure. But we've got it up on the phone in. Are you watching on the phone in as well, Ross? Are you on YouTube? If you go on to YouTube and go on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, you'll see me live on the phone in. And you can give us a call if you want. So everybody watching TikTok right now, look at my TikTok bio. Just below that, it says the URL for YouTube. How good is that? We're also on Twitch. Get watching on Twitch. If you've got a Twitch account, Scotty underscore McClue. Get on to LinkedIn if you're a business person and you're connected on LinkedIn. You can watch me on LinkedIn. Thanks, Jerry, says Suzanne. Well done, Suzanne. I'm going to type, Suzanne, a wee message here. Uh, well done, Suzanne. How amazing is Suzanne? Dinky-doo. Right. Well done, Suzanne. Dinky do. There's that gone up there. Can you see that? Is that well done, Suzanne. Dinky do. There we are. That's come from me. It says restream uh, on it, but that's Scotty McClue. There we are. I'll need to sort that out. I wonder why that's coming up like that. Uh, so there you are. Dinky do. Hi, everybody on TikTok. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There we are. Barcy Mars, Sarah from Barnsley. Dinky do. 
Scott, your opinions on Putin and the rising Communist Party. I think you'll find there's been a rising Communist Party in Russia since 1917. Even long before that, there's been a rising Communist Party in Russia since 1878, probably. 1898, that sort of idea. Uh, there we go. Uh, Scotty, ban this boy, says Xander. Is he cheeking up? Let's have a look. Are you Irish, says Jason? We're all Irish, Jason. Delboy says, uh, I've got terminal cancer. Your last listener is an inspiration. Wow, how amazing. Fantastic. Yes, I'm just having a look here. Scott FM, says Team Oak, that's it. Yes, indeed. Do you remember? Follow us as soon as you come on. Thanks, Ross. Stinky do. Have you subscribed to the YouTube channel? We need to get everybody subscribing on YouTube, right? The YouTube channel and also on Twitch and on Facebook Live. Follow us on Facebook as soon as you possibly can. We'll do, pal. Thank you, Ross. Very much appreciated. And thank you, Orfo and Ross, for following me on TikTok. How amazing is that? I can't believe how quickly the time's gone. If you've just joined us, a warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure with the internet phone in. We're about three weeks old, so we're very, very new to the whole idea. But uh, at least we're on, and you can see in front of you the telephone number. Let me just see if I can show you some graphics here. And uh, what about this one? Do you like that there? That will give you a little bit of a change there and let you see a bit more of me. Ooh, how good is that? Good evening, Scotty, my pals. This is Lauren, Lauren Princess Dinky Doo. Thank you for sharing, Mr. Goatface. We can never share too much. I've got 1,200 likes on TikTok. If everybody wants to start tap, tap, tapity tap, we'll see if we can build that up now. Is there any way I can share this? Yes, I'm wanting to do some sharing, guys. And uh, I'm just wondering if I could share this live. No, I don't know that I can. So you'll have to do the sharing for me at the moment. Share, 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 it, share, 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 share. Quick bit of a comfort mop down here. Woo! It is absolutely roasting in here. Rusty, rusty toasty in the studio, I say. Thanks for all these tabby taps. We've got one and a half thousand likes now on TikTok. That's pretty good. Uh, the Cameron says, Canadian here with some strong Scottish heritage. Have a great day, my man. Thank you, the Cameron. Very much appreciated. And dinky do to you, I say. You need a wee fan. Well, I've got, I've got billions of fans, T-Bot. And I need one that blows cold air. We blow a lot of hot air on here. Thomas says, how's the wife doing, Scotty? She's very well, Thomas. Thank you for asking. Very, very much appreciated. We've had to send Johnson the butler off because of the pandemic. But that can all change, I say. There we are. Excellent stuff. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Follow me on Twitch. Very, very important. We're discussing tonight Class A drugs. Are we on a slippery slope in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland by uh, maybe making it sort of less of a crime to possess a Class A drug? Tot, tot, totity, tot. I say build more jails. Yeah, get more people arrested. If they're caught using drugs, take them out of society. Uh, Dr. David says, only 11 views tonight, I see. Yes, that's, uh, well, there's 15 on the internet phone in. We've got 10 on TikTok, of course, which is excellent. We will have several thousand across the platforms, Dr. David. So you never, ever, ever need to worry about that. And remember, we're three weeks old. So, you know, don't panic, Dr. David. You're, you're a panicker. That's right. You need to learn to keep the faith. See, when you're starting something new, you would be expecting a miracle if quarter of a million people joined you on your first night. All right. I am delighted with a few hundred or a few thousand people. That's fine. And we can build on that. 
There we are, because if you've got a strong enough product, the people will come. Absolutely. What constitutes a Class A drug in the UK? Cocaine, heroin, lockdown. I get overwhelmed very easily. Any tips, Lauren? Yes. What is it you get overwhelmed with? That's the first thing to establish. Hello again from Calgary in Canada. We love it. I told you I had relatives who had a bakery in Calgary. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Am I correct? How wonderful is that? There we are with work. Right, so there you are. So you need to work out what the triggers are for that, Lauren. And you need to start avoiding them and managing them. Okay? So find out what is it that makes you feel anxious and why. And we'll start to remove these things from your life. How good is that? John Boy from Port Glasgow, a Portonian. Yes, correct. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Kicker Muscle. I've not touched it in many years, but someone who used it, I can attest to jailing people. Kirby, absolutely. Get them in the slammer. Scotty, I'm in Prague at the moment. Have you ever been? No, I haven't, Mr. Goatface, but I believe it's absolutely beautiful. Somebody said, I must take you to Prague. It's so gorgeous. Evening, my good friend. Good evening, Haldi. Haldi Pottinger, one of our great TikTokers there. How lovely to have you with us, and thank you for gracing us with your presence live on Scotty McClue's TikTok Live, Haldi. Hi to Fort William, Scotty. Hi from Fort William. Christopher, dinky-doo, I love Fort William. I think it's a very fine part of the world. I'm not sure if we should change the name if we get independence, because it was not called after King William. So maybe that should be changed. Same as Fort George. What do we think? Tell us, give us your opinion. Very important. There we are. Should we change some of the names if Scotland becomes independent? That's what we're talking about. Always a pleasure, my man. Good evening. Good evening, emergency services. Lovely to have you with us. Now, there we go. Hello from Glasgow, Scotland. We love you in Glasgow, Scotland, Thomas. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you. Forgive Macamoo. Forgive Macamoo. Very, very kind of you. And Dinky-Doo, a very forgiving person, I would say. To the telephones, if you'd like to come on for a chat, we've got about 18 minutes left. So there we are. Always good stuff. I did a TikTok uh, at Sunday lunchtime, and we got 40 thousand likes on that TikTok during the pop-up and I only popped up for oh I'd be surprised if I popped up for an hour how amazing is that if you've just joined us folks you're watching Scotty McClure we're live on the internet we're live on YouTube we're live on Facebook live we're live on LinkedIn live and we're live on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClure Follow me on Twitch and watch the show on Twitch. So I believe it's a very, very good feed. I like that. Bring back the borders like the West Moorlands. Where's the West? Oh, West Moorland. Yes, Cumberland and West Moorland. I'll phone you tomorrow night. Do, Thomas. Yes, indeed. That would be excellent. We can get a wee bit of a chit chat. And you're still talking like that, Thomas. That was wonderful. I think that I remember the last time we spoke. How amazing was that? And you can follow us here at Restreamio. Restreamio. There we go. Get following here as well. You can never follow too much Scotty McClue. You can never share too much Scotty McClue. You can never have too many subscribers on the YouTube channel. You'll see the URL right in front of you, TikTokers. There we are. Scotty, can you do your London accent? I love it. Whoa, what are you talking about, Mr. Goatface? You know I don't do London. Where you get that from? Oh, I watch a cook. I'll tell you. Uh, well, hello. It's been a few weeks since we've conversed. I hope you're well, sir. Ah, Stephen, 7555. We are conversing now. I am very well. This is lovely, I can tell you. It's just coming up to 45 minutes, guys. We have to push off on the hour. Uh, but I hope you're enjoying the phone-in. 
We're just popping up experimentally Monday to Thursday, 9 o'clock till 10. And then what we're going to do is Friday and Saturday, of course, we do 10 until 11. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, get spreading the word. It's excellent. How are you, Scotty? Luxury cars are lovely to have you with us. Lovely South African accent, says Kanoom. There we are. Fantastic. The London accent's great. I'm watching you on TV, says Thomas. Good one, Thomas. You'll not see much of me. You'll just get a sort of head and shoulders shot, I would imagine. We're quite big on TikTok, though, because it's in uh, portrait. And uh, the TV will be in landscape, I say to you. Right, let's see what's happening on the chat, guys. Right, here we got what's going on here. Wonderful stuff. I like this. Watching from Facebook. Excellent stuff. Thank you, Joanne. And uh, is it looking good on Facebook? Is it a nice, clean feed you're getting? Is anybody watching on Twitch? Like to share, it says Kareem. Thank you, Kareem. Kareem has just sent me a pound. Kareem, that is a lovely thing to do. How did you do that? Did you send that on YouTube, Kareem? Did you tap the dollar in the super chat? And send me a pound. That is beautiful. Karim is a very generous man. There's Larky Derry. I'm staying in Lochiel at Fort William on the road to Malig. Ah, we love Malig, Jerry. Is it nice up there? Do you believe the internet's too saturated with people doing lives? Well, Jordan, nobody's doing what I'm doing. That's the difference. It might be saturated with people doing lives, but they're very popular. A lot of people love lives. Uh, but nobody's doing what I'm doing, so it's not a problem. Jordan, don't bother. Jerry will just insult or shoot you down. Dave, I am sure that's not the case. Jerry, you don't insult and shoot people down. There's Larky Derry giving me the thumbs up. I hope we've got lots of thumbs up on the YouTube channel. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, can you give us some thumbs up bottom left of the main screen? That would be just gorgeous. No, Dave. Says Jerry, there you go. There's Jerry telling you straight. Scotty, do you know much about the Bass Rock in North Berwick? Yes, I do. There we are, the Bass Rock. I used to live uh, very close to it. And I would take a walk, out, uh, not take a walk out, but I walk along the coast and look at the Bass Rock. It's very white because it's actually covered in burnt poo. There we are. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Tim Pratt says, hi. Hi, Tim. We're back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone. In. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Who's that? It's Mr. Jerry. Mr. Jerry, how are you? Jerry, what's Jerry. going on with you and Dave? No, I don't know, but uh, he took, took the spot. Umbridge. He's took uh, Umbridge. He's took... We'll just continue it. Having a chat with you because I don't insult no one. No, I didn't think you did. No. He not says, not Jordan, not don't bother. Uh, Jerry will ins just insult or shoot you never. down. Never. never. And you've never. said no, Dave, which is That's quite never. right. Being a broadcaster and interviewing people and meeting so many people, I don't do that. I don't do that. No, of course you don't. No, that's it. Jordan so, says, exactly, Scotty, you bring education, entertainment, and most yep. t most of us to dinky do. Right, we'll continue with the conversation and this going on about the drugs and giving them a slap in the wrist. All wrong. Very As wrong. You say, definitely, we don't. Very we don't wrong. Do because uh, I've visited, this is a, a story going back a number of years, I visited my sister in um, the north side, as you know. Uh, yes, no bus. names, no pack drills, Jerry. No, Keep it loose. It? So I bought this big fancy Capri in 1986. Lovely. So driving to my sister's in the afternoon with uh, some groceries and a uh, couple of things I had. So I had to leave to do a gig. You still there? Of course I am. I was just going to say, Jerry, I've just noticed... 3,000 likes on TikTok. Brilliant. That's good, good isn't it? Very good. Brilliant. Um, so, as I say, driving to the sisters gets the, the food stuff and she had done some washing for us. So I put it in a black 
bank. Uh -huh. So this is how things people think, and you know, you know, you say uh, the people that law, right? This is how you get involved. So I drive down the main roads, yeah, and I see a friend of mine, yes, a woman, and I says, "Where are you going?" Oh, I'm going to the city centre. I says, "Jump in." So jumps into the car, and then I seen this car right behind me, a plane car, a plane. You know, wasn't it a cop car that was there? So I says, what's the guy so close to me? So the, the lady I dropped off, and then this car came after me. The guy got out. He says, uh, excuse me, he says, uh, Strathclyde Police. I says, what's the problem? He says, um, can we check what's on the car? I says, check. Oh, some groceries, some clothes, some of that. And then the, the has you know, the walkie-talkie thing says, Yeah. Okay, we've well, got her. I says, what is this? I, um, how do you, can you afford a big car and travel up to this street and that? I says, I work full time. Uh-huh. I says, you tell me you've got some, that, somebody, is that the passenger I had? Yes, we've held her. Two, two of our officers have got her. I says, I don't believe this. So they thought it was a drug dealer. She. <laughs> That's the truth. And for for years and years, people say to me, "Oh, there's a drug dealer. Jerry works. Jerry's got a nice car. He just classes all drug dealer." Isn't, isn't that amazing? It's funny now, but the time. Aye. The time. Oh, it's very frightening it's these things. But you know, you see yourself. Um, no, and then it's coming on the news here at tea time, telling you, "Oh, we'll just give them a slap in the wrist." There's going to be more and more and more. Absolutely, but no, I think, uh, you know, carry on fighting it, you know, because Sorry. saying slap in the wrist is, is it's admitting defeat. Bye. And I think also well, the upper echelons of society are a bit nervous about it because there's recreational drug use going on at all levels. But that's, I don't understand because the Scottish government has been told and they know the amount of people who have died yes. in, in this uh, country. Then we have uh, the, the lady on television today at the Scottish Parliament speaking about, oh, right, we'll just give them a slap the wrist. No, the I think we need no, to get on them. message. I think we need to get on message. And we need, here's a, here's a good one. What about this? Get Scotland back on its face. It's not right, is it? Sorry? It's not right. No, it's not right. But, uh, good conversation today. And good, well, always a good conversation. Jerry, I'll update you with the carry-on here. Dave Dupre no says, more. without a single comment against you. Say that again? Without a single comment against you, Sir Dave Dupre. Well, I don't know what's happening with Dave Dupre, but I won't make any comments to you. Your, he says uh, he's from Daventry. No, no, I don't know what his, his, his plan is, but I won't make any reply. Good. I won't chat to you anymore if I, I get any abuse. Oh, no, you can chat to me as much as you like. No, That's no, no, nothing to do with it. Unfair, but Sorry? Unfair, it's just very unfair. It's very, no, no, but you, you you chat to me as much as you like. I'm. I, it's nothing to do with me. I'm just pointing out. I know, I know but I don't know what he's... Is, well, he's carry on. We'll ask him. We'll ask him to tell us what's his problem. Right. We'll ask him, and then tell him on the phone, and then we'll go right we'll, to it. We'll take it from there. Thank you, do. Thank you, do. Lovely to hear you. Thanks, Jerry. Ta -da -la. There we are. That's that's our Jerry. Now that was very very interesting. There. There's Jerry telling it like it is. I say. Uh, who have we got? Bring back the birch, Scotty. Says Professor Mumpty Heat, and he's a wise man. Most of Scotland's on drugs, free prescriptions. There we are. Ah, very interesting. Dave Deprave, we're uh, wondering what you're at. Dinky do, it's Dodsey here on the TikTok. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us on TikTok. We're going to have to push off in a little while because I've got about another five minutes max. Thank you for joining us on tonight's program. It's been an absolute...
blessed, I'll tell you. So what we're doing, if you've just found us, guys, we are the internet phone in, the voice of the people. I'm Scotty McClue, hashtag float eye, first lord of the internet and international icon. And uh, we're popping up just to say hi, Monday through until Thursday, 9 o'clock till 10. All very experimental. We're three weeks old. All right. And we're on YouTube. That's our main platform. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue. Get watching on Twitch, please. And because uh, it's a very, very good feed. We're also on LinkedIn Live. And that's an outstanding feed as well. Hello, I've been listening for a while. Ah, Gordon Robertson, how lovely to have you with us. This is where the intelligentsia meets in Scotland, I say. So it's flow tie now. Flow tie, I say, Gordon Robertson, absolutely. First Lord of the Internet. You've got, you've got no hashtag at the start and you've got two extra eyes. So there we are. How very strange. Well, at least you'll be able to see well, see what I just did there, Gordon Robertson. Amazing. Hi, how are you? Says Graham the King on TikTok Live. How fantastic is that? Thank you for all your wonderful gifts on TikTok. Originally, Jerry didn't like my comment on cannabis. So he said, quote, OK, we get your drift, Daventry. You were the antagonist, not me, says Dave. Ah, there you go, Jerry. He's pointed the finger at you. Daventry equals Dave, my name. How humorous. Yes, ah, Daventry, of course. Daventry, uh, where the big aerials are for the BBC. Well, Jerry will know all about Daventry, I would think. The flattest hat on. There we are, fantastic. You are my brother, Alistair King on Facebook. Graham, we do, Graham. What a top man your brother is. But you knew that anyway, I could say to you. Right, I think I'm going to have to say bye-bye to the TikTokers in a couple of minutes because we're reaching our hour, uh, which is heartbreaking, saying goodbye to any of you. It's been such a privilege having you with us. Uh, remember to do the goodbye song and take a bow, Sir Scotty Margaret. Goodbye, thank you. Well, you said first lord of the internet and international icon, so that makes it hashtag float eye, eye, eye. <laughs> Love it, Gordon. I see where you're coming from, you clever, clever man. There we are. Fantastic. I'm lost in this chat. No surprise there. Suzanne, you are never lost. You're a very, very clever woman. That's fantastic. That's the truth. So help me God. Oh, help you God, Dave Deprave. Goodbye, mate. Lovely to see you. See you tomorrow night. Thomas Hamilton, thank you. I broke my first para swimming British record today. Rowan. Rowan Brennan, dinky do that is fabulous. Right, I'm going to say bye-bye to the TikTokers. Thank you for joining us. Have a great night. Join us soon again. dinky do and tara -las. That's the TikTokers have gone. They go a little bit earlier, you'll see. Right, hang on a minute. They're not going at all at this rate. That's them. Right. That's the...